I am the fourth dimension. I am explaining it to you. I am my it is three fifteen in the morning and I am having that one of those moments where just I want to talk. So the fourth dimension. Imagine you are a two-dimensional human being. I know, it, se it seems backwards thinking, like why, we're, ta we're trying to figure out the fourth dimension, why are we talking about the second dimension? Just imagine it. So you are a second dimensional being, you are flat. You are flat. So, basically, We have a piece of paper here, and let me draw a little guy on it. There we go. We have our little guy, our little man. Let me draw it in a sharpie so you can actually see it. Okay. So imagine you are this two-dimensional human being. This paper is your entire world. You. You can only face two directions on this. He can only face two directions. Like, technically, he's facing this way, but he's not going to see anything this way. This is this is the fourth wall to him. He can see anything this way? This way? I guess he can see this way and this way, too. But, you know. So, now... He can see this way, but this is, to him, this is a rift in reality. This should not be possible to exist. Like, for him, if there was just a tear right here, not on any wall or anything, just a tear in thin air, this is what this is to him. So. This tear for us would be just like poking a pencil through the third dimensional whatever for a fourth, fourth dimensional being. The fourth dimension is really not that hard to th is really not that hard complicated. It's just like like if you like if you want to think about it even further to a second dimensional being a first dimensional being is can literally only see possibly zero directions because Let me explain this let me explain this again in a different way in case you didn't understand it already this m I don't know how much this will help basically we can see in six directions and in between them but that's beside the point we can see in six directions forward backward left right up down a two-dimensional being can see four directions up, down, left, right. A one-dimensional being can theoretically see two directions, left and right, because they don't have an up and down, they're just, like, okay, think of a barcode, that is a one-dimensional thing, because that can be as tall or as sh small as you want, it's, it's a barcode, though. It scans it horizontally through it and that little segment just just one little tiny the smallest size you can get just cut uh, cut through that that is the one the first dimension basically so they can see this way and that way so the fourth dimension they can possibly see eight directions in a way we can't see like it, 
it is impossible for us to see into the fourth dimension as three-dimensional beings, just as a two-dimensional being cannot see into the third dimension. Sorry, Billy. So, um, one final explanation, the one a lot of people are well aware of. Imagine you're uh, putting, imagine you have like a plane, just a 2D plane and like blender or something just th this is a re this is a simple thing that like almost anyone can understand if you have the slightest bit of knowledge about like 3d design at all in uh, in a studio you have a flat plane here and you take a sphere and you move it in and out to that to a person on that flat plane it would look like a circle is just growing and shrinking when actually it, the sphere is moving in and out, because the sphere, if you take that thinnest slice of it, it's like, it's, yeah, basically. So, for us, if a fourth dimensional object were to pass through our third dimension, it would look like it was growing and shrinking. Theoretically. Yep, yeah, that's the fourth dimension. When did I become a physicist? <laughs> uh, anyway.